Okay, today on the 880 crosshair video, we're going to cover one concept, no pressure. All right, there is still lots of confusion on this, so let's go over this. Okay, so this is a SAE 113 nitro O-ring. It's an OEM. The best store-bought ones I found are the Danco's, which are number 11. All right, that's a big, powerful company. But yes, so look. When we have air pressure problems, let's start from the top. Okay, when you get a daisy, it cannot be like a crossman. If you're used to shooting crossman, you can pump or cock it. In this case, you have to always remember, if you don't cock it, it won't hold its pressure. Okay, it's just going to do that. Then the air goes right out the barrel. You can hear it coming right out the barrel. You have to remember to always cock it. Okay, so once you cock it... It will hold pressure so all right so let's take a look at what we have here now this is the pump tube now inside your gun you have this o-ring on the front of your pump head and then one in back and that that serves to seal that in there and give you air pressure as you're pumping your gun so the chamber seal, as I covered in another video, doesn't have anything to do with that, with re maintaining the pressure, the air in your gun. All right, it has to do with controlling the power, but as far as actually maintaining pressure inside the pump tube, it, your O-rings are the workhorse there. So there's the one in back, and here is the one in front. Now on this Daisy 35, you can see that, okay? So you can see that right there up front okay so let's take a close look at that there it is right there can't miss it now this is a little different than 880 you can actually see the seal there at the bottom okay so those are responsible for keeping the pressure of your gun most of the time but if you cock your gun you cock it and you pump it cock it pump it and it's still doing this and you're not building any pressure and you can totally tell that you're not building any pressure, then we need to look to your valve. Now your valve is inside the body of your gun. There's your trigger assembly. It's in there, it's right there. I have a trigger video just on this. It covers the disassembly, reassembly of your trigger, and the fact you have to get this out of the way to get to your valve, okay? But I do have a loose valve right here. So now let's talk about it. You've changed both O-rings. First of all, you cleaned out your gun if it's a used gun. You've cleaned off every contact surface. You put new O-rings in. You put your favorite lube on the said O-rings in that pump tube, whether it's the DAISY recommendation of 30 SAE ND, or let's say if you're a silicone guy, proper silicone, super lube O-ring silicone. Okay, you applied it and you put it in your gun and it's inside this pump tube. You've done that, it's still no pressure. Okay, so now we have to take the gun apart, follow my video on disassembly of the trigger so you can get into the valve area, okay, right there. And then once you get your valve out, let's take a look at this. Now, what can go wrong with your valve and how does this work? Okay, all right, there we go. And what um, would cause the air to come up through your barrel? And you hear it, and it can be a little deceiving because it can be going up through your barrel and actually out through your trigger guard okay so when we look at this let's take a look at that and let's see how close we can get in on that so i can okay now you have that top of that poppet which plugs a hole up here so that when you pull your trigger this pulls down you pull your trigger this actually goes down like that and then your pellet shoots otherwise that plastic pop pop it top right there covers that hole so you can store air now if that gets damaged okay you need to take a look at that get in there with a, a magnifier like that and take a look at it okay you need to do that to make sure that there's no damage to that because okay we went over you changed your o-rings okay that didn't work air still going out your barrel you check the top of that if it looks normal and you look at under mag on your magnification then we need to go to your seal now, technically, some say, depending on how badly damaged this O-ring is on the bottom, which is an SAE-012 or Danco number 7. Again, the best store O-rings i found. But yes, SAE-012. Okay, if that's badly damaged, then air can technically go out, some say, through the bottom and through the top. But it's definitely going to go out the bottom. 
okay? Others will tell you, because I've never suffered a failure like this on my um, valve, okay? I just haven't. Others will tell you that uh, as long as the spring is working and the top is okay, air, if there's a problem with your seal, it just goes out the bottom, which would mean it would come out your trigger area. That's where you'd notice it. But, okay, so what you need to do in a situation like that where you replace the, the O-rings in your pump tube and you have this out and you're checking it out, spring's okay, top's okay, then you just automatically take that off and replace it. Make sure to clean it off, clean off all contact surfaces if it's used, especially that. Can't trust what they did to it. Clean off all that and then put on a new SAE012. Okay, then you put a new one on there, apply lube. Okay, now we're going to get into uh, more lube conversations. I, it seems we can never get enough of that on this channel. This is a 3-in-1 product. Now, it says penetrant on it, and this is the last thing you want in your gun. All right, I had Europeans ask me that, what, Americans don't know the difference between lubrication and a penetrant? And I'm saying, well, so, sometimes no, maybe a lot of times. Like, 3-in-1 does a good job of telling you it's a penetrant, and that's not for this gun it's not for seals like this if you put this in your gun all right you are going to lose all of your seals both of the ones in the pump tube okay you're going to lose both of those and your seal on your valve okay so keep that out of your gun i'm just going to say two choices that are right and and should do a great job the daisy recommendation 30 sae nd and super lube o-ring silicone the right grade silicone okay so again, if you pump your gun, or you cock your gun, pump it, it goes out through the barrel, you need to get to your O-rings. If you replace those, lube them, and you cock the gun, pump, pump it, and it still goes out your barrel, you need to get to your valve and check everything I've talked about. All right, uh, thank you.